hello everyone today our group and i would like to make a presentation about our group assignment um, firstly i would like to introduce um, our group our group consists of five members the first one is nurul fazrina wati binti zukifli um, me alifa ilana binti muhammad ferry muhammad zukana binti mazli um, the fourth one is nur faiza binti abdul halim and the last one is mas ilmi binti muhammad Okay, basically, business statistics involves the process of evaluating, interpreting, and categorizing data. Data can be used to generate various statistical models to interpret our trends and accurate insight. In statistics, there is data arrangement, graphical method, uh, class frequency, measure of central tendency, a measure of variation, and the last one is measure of position. And our group con our group choose data from number nine and that's all okay uh, i want to explain about uh, data arrangement data can be described by using a table and graph there are three types of table can be used to describe the data one class and frequency distribution two relative frequency and three cumulative frequency the table shows the current price of bungalow in alusta kedah uh, so firstly, I will explain about class and frequency distribution. There are five steps in the class and frequency. For the first step is decide on the number of classes. Uh, useful uh, recipe to determine the number of classes K in the two to take K rules such as such that to two power of K greater than N. Uh, there, there was a 29 sample. So it is a 29. If we try k equal 4, which means we would, we would use 4 classes, then 2 power of 4 equals 16, somewhat, is uh, less than 29. Hence, 4 is, not, uh, 4 is not enough classes. If we let uh, k equal 5, 2 power of 5 equal 30, 32, which is uh, greater than 29. So, the reco recommended number of classes is 5. Uh, the second step is uh, determine the class interval of width. Refer to the behind. Uh, behind me, we use the formula to calculate the class width. After insert the value, the answer should be round up. Okay, next step is uh, set the individual class limit. The minimum data entry is a covenant lower limit for the first class. To find uh, the lower limit of the remaining five class, uh, add the class width uh, of 15 to the lower, lim lower limit of each previous class. So, upper limit for the class uh, is 296 which uh, is one less than lower limit of the second class. The upper, the upper limit of the other classes are 263.6 plus 14 equal 277.6. 277.6 plus uh, 14 equal 291.6 and so on. After that, uh, we have to make a tally mark for each data entry in the appropriate class. And for the last step is the number of tally mark for a class in the frequency for the for that class. That the table one show frequency distribution. By referring uh, referring the table, we can get the frequency for for every class. Then uh, after total up the frequency, we can get the same value of our sim our sample which 29. If we don't get a 29, it means that our frequency is wrong. Next, I will explain about re relative frequency distribution. The relative frequency is the portion of percentage of the data that fall in the class in that class. To find the relative frequency of a class. Divide the frequency by the sample, uh, sample size n. Same goes uh, to the previous part. After total up the relative frequency, it should be 1. If we don't get uh, 29, it means that our frequ frequency is wrong. Uh, last but not least is uh, cumulative frequency distribution. The cumulative frequency of class is the sum of the frequency for that class and all previous classes. The cumulative frequency or the last class is equal to the sample size n. Uh, the table 3 show cumulative frequency distribution. 
graphical method that are used in this report are two, which is frequency polygon table and graph and histogram table and graph. Frequency polygon table and graph is a frequency uh, that are graphical device for understanding the shapes of distributions. They serve same purpose as histograms uh, but especially helpful for comparing sets of data. Frequency polygons are also a good choice for displaying cumulative frequency distribution. They are the table of a frequency polygon and the graph of frequency polygon. The second method they are we use is a histogram table and graph. A histogram is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. In histogram, each bar groups numbers into range. Taller bars show that the more data falls in the range. A histogram displays the shape and spread of continuous sample data. The table shows the uh, histogram of the uh, the number of the current price, lower boundary, upper boundary, midpoint and frequency. And today I would like to explain about measure of central tendency. Measurement of central tendency provide information about typical um, or average uh, value of the data set. The central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within the set of data. Three most commonly used are to measure central tendency, which is uh, mean, uh, median, and the last one is mode. Okay, first we go to the mean. Mean is the statical refer to the mean or average that is used to derive the central tendency of data in question. It is determined by arithmetic average is the sum of all value in the data set. Next, next uh, we will go to the data set. Okay, as you can see in the screen, this is the data, current price, midpoint, frequency, and fx. To get uh, midpoint, we ha you have to uh, sum plus the current price for example, 250.6 plus 263.6 and then you divide it by 2, you will get the midpoint. And then after that, to get uh, fx, you have to multiply the midpoint and frequency. For example, 257.1 multiplied by 9 and then you will get the frequency Okay, of fx, 2313.9. And then after that, you sum plus all of them and then you will get the answer at 8099.9. And then you have to divide it by the class, the whole class, and then you will get the answer of the mean which is 279.31 and then we will go to the median and uh, as you can see first you uh, you need to know our median class our median class is 278.6 um, to 291.9.6 that is our median class and then you have to find your LM LM is lower class and then uh, class size and then you have to uh, divide uh, divide it and then you will get the answer 3767.9.58 um, the answer of the median and then the last one we will go to the mood mood is if there is no entry repeated the data set has no mood okay if two entry occur with the same greatest frequency each entry is a model okay this is the um, the solution the data and then you have to follow the follow the uh, apa, formula given and then as usual you have to uh, search your LM uh, class size uh, and then our LM is 250.6 and then our class is 262.6 uh, and then you have to you will get the answer C your C is 12 and then you will get the answer 310.6 the answer for the moon I will continue with my part, which is a measure of variation. So, uh, what is the measure of variation? The measure of variation is a measure of tendency, is some parameters attempt to describe the amount of variation between random variable. Usually, to, cal to calculate the amount of variation between random variable we will use three type of parameters such as range variance and standard deviation firstly is range range is 
um, used to measure the difference between the maximum and minimum data entries in the set. The formula of measure range is range equal to maximum data entry minus minimum data entry. And the total uh, calculation is 65.9. Okay, next, uh, how to use the formula of variance. First, and must be subtract by 1 and then complete in the bracket like 8099.92 after that in the bracket divide by 29 then fx2 minus the one already divided uh, lastly uh, 1 is divided by 28 and multiplied by the number in the bracket and the answer is 399.24 Okay, uh, lastly is about the standard deviation Okay, the sample variance of the current price of bungalow for a given size is about 399.24 And the sample standard, devi standard deviation is about 19.98 a measure of position determine the position of a single value in a relation to other value in a sample or population data set. Unlike the means and the standard deviations, descriptive measure based on the quartile are not sensitive to other influence of a few extreme observations. For these reasons, descriptive measure based on the quartile are often preferred over those based on the means and standard deviations. Quartile cut points divides in the range of the data into continuous interval with equal probabilities. Creating quartile are particularly important. The medians of a data set divide the two into two equal parts, the bottom 50% and the top 50%. Quartile divide the data for equal parts and percentile divide into 100 equal parts. Note that the median is also 50%. Cell divides a divide a data set into ten equal parts, and the quartile divide a data set into five equal parts. There is always one less quartile than a number of group quick. For example, there are three quartile dividing the four, the four dividing the data into four equal parts. Uh, we use some methods such, such as data arrangement, graphical method. Measure of central tendency, measure of variation, and measure of position to calculate the data of the current price of bungalow for a size given. First step, to arrange uh, the data given, we use frequency distribution to calculate the number of classes, class uh, interval uh, with the current price of bungalow for a given size is 13.18 and the class limit. Next, to arrange uh, the data, we use relative distribution and cumulative frequency distribution to, to complete the data. And the part of the graphic method, we use two type of graphic such as frequency polygon and histogram. Therefore, uh, to calcul calculate the mean, median and mode, we use measure of central tendency. Moreover, to for the part measure of variation, we use range, variance and standard deviation. Said so that, we also interpret the variance and standard deviation. Lastly, the part of measure of pos position, we use the quarter method to calculate the uh, quarter 1 and quarter 3.